Do, do we find the, the Steven Letters um, Smurf that. account? Yeah, we did it. Three, two, yeah. One, I feel like go. this is somebody. Well, okay. Okay, so we got John John with Fortnite and Pete, bro. Um, do you know the Twitter I, at JZXXE? I don't have no idea. I, but I'm, I haven't seen this matchup in a very long time. Um, so, but I feel like this is definitely a matchup where we fit gets annoyed more than more more than a lot of other matchups because of Mega Man's pelts. It, it disrupts a lot of the shenanigans that we just like to go for. Yeah, honestly, it just looks like you know we fit is gonna have to do a little bit more to you know charge her resources and just make it a little bit annoying for Mega Man to play this matchup neutral and whatnot. Yeah, and. But we're seeing John uh, Fortnite Kenneth. No, no. <laughs> we're seeing John Wick. <laughs> hey, John Wick. We're seeing John Wick in the lead in the lead right now. Um, but you know they are going back and forth. Seems like a lot of scrapping right now. And um, well, let's see. You know who takes the the first knock to get this emotional advantage. Oh, very nice upsell coming in from John Wick. Um, honestly, it just looks like, you know, the more that, you know, Weefit gets their lead, they're probably just going to be wanting to stay away from, you know, Mega Man as much as possible to avoid any, you know, of the shenanigans that, you know, Mega Man has. Yeah, and you already saw the Lemon shooting the, shooting the soccer ball back at Weefit while they were at the ledge. And, um, that's like a legendary interaction that I'm, we're probably going to see a lot of. <laughs> but John Wick right now is doing a really good job at, you know, playing keep away from Petro. And not really engaging a lot with Mega Man, because like you know, Mega Man's a character that when you engage a lot with him, you tend to get a tend to explode. But right now, John Wick, John Wick is um playing pretty solid gameplay. So you're already at only at 161 percent, and you know, down two stocks, and oh, oh no, ooh, that was super sad. Yeah, yeah, that was rough. You know, ha uh, yeah, SDs happen, and um. But man, even with that SD, uh, John Wick was pretty much, you know, in control of that whole game. You know, the first stock was kind of close, but after that, after that, you know, first stock with the forward tilt, right? I feel like once you get hit with we fit forward tilt, probably one of the tilting moves get hit within the game, in my opinion. So I feel like that emotional advantage carried over to the second stock and then inevitably led to like the third stock SD. That's just my plan. Yeah, honestly, but you know, any small adjustments that um, Peter Bro can make would actually help a lot more in this matchup. And just a little bit sure why, I mean, you know, PS2 is a very neutral stage, so it's very understandable why he would want to stay the stage. Um, but yeah, going into this next game, wondering to see, you know, what Peter Bro can do um, other than, you know, working on little motions to make sure that he can take this game and maybe take another game. Yeah, and you know, I, I think you know, I, I think right now for Pete, bro, what he needs to do is like you just need to take a breath when you're fighting against Weefit, right? Because Weefit is a character who who controls tempo very well. You know, once they get the lead, they're gonna go to the ledge. They're gonna try to get deep breathing. And I think Pete, bro, might just need to take a step back a little bit and just reevaluate the game plan. Because even though you do want to disrupt Weefit with your pellets and stuff, you also don't want to continuously throw yourself at Weefit. It's kind of like the trap that they bait you into. Nice uh, edge guarding here coming in from um, John Wick. You know, taking his first stock and already showing that this, you know, might be not too much of a different game from last game. Yeah, and maybe, uh, yeah, and Pro hasn't taken a stock yet. Maybe this could be the stop. Um, yeah, because I feel like right now Pro just needs something, right? Just needs something like, you know, just like that. Something to get on the board. Um, speaking of getting numbers on the board, T Gray, thanks for the sub, man. Yo, T, yo, T Gray, local greetings, man. Good guy, good stuff. Man. And Hatch, thanks for the follow. And all support is very much appreciated. Um, but yeah, getting back to this game, looking very much even for um, you know Peter Bro. So anything is very much within the range of taking this game. Pete, Pete, bro. Jazzy. Oh, Pete. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, and you know, and, and sometimes all, all you need is that one stock just to get you, just to get you in your groove. And right now, Pete, bro, is, um, 
Peepro is playing with a little bit more confidence. Oh, or, uh, getting that nice down air, um, John Wick. Oh, and hey. it right back. Hey. Shots were fired. <laughs> hey, I, okay, this, this is the action that, that we signed up for. Okay, I like this. So right now, um, Peepro, right back at you, Peepro. Okay, um, maybe catching on a little bit to some of, some of these um, patterns coming out from John Wick. And playing with a lot of confidence right now, coming down to his last stop. Nice. Uh, very nice wait there, but any, you know, they're, it's just really going a little bit crazy right now. So honestly, this is, we love this. They are scrapping right now. And there's a bunch of scramble situations going on right now. You see John Wick fishing, fishing for these Nair confirms. And you just want people is looking for that one hit to send we fit off stage. That's all he's been looking for for the past two minutes. Just something to send we fit off stage so they could edge guard them. This is very even, but honestly, for Pro, this is wow. looking like you know he has all the power, or they have all the power in this world. So honestly, this is anyone's game at this point. Yeah, and Peeper with that aggressive back air recovery a little bit earlier, definitely just saved that stock. And yeah, and right now, like, we fit is one area away from taking this game. And what? That was my kill? That back throw was so okay. Wow. Can we talk about how brave that back throw was at the ledge? Against I mean... fully, fully roided out we fit? Like, <laughs> That's... They was really throwing some hands right there. That's so crazy. Wow. And like usually yeah. in that situation, people are scared because for you know, we fit start throwing up four with the ledge, like, you know. And it does, I'm pretty sure. Um I'm pretty sure no, is there a real back on the action on that? that's forward smash? But there, you know, we fit usually start doing that and people are a little bit hesitant to just do to get up and he just did not care. <laughs> So get into this nice game. Looks like um, Pete Bro definitely found that confidence that they needed to, you know, take this um, game or take that last game. So anything, it looks like, you know, it's anyone's game at this point. You know, if we just see all that scrapping that we were seeing last game, I, I believe. Yeah. And something Peeper has been doing since game one, we've been seeing way more Metal Blade and way more Leaf Shield coming out from Peepro. Um, there's a bunch of things to like keep Wii Fit occupied, so Wii Fits don't just sit back and um, shoot the soccer balls, charge deep breathing. Just keep things like, you know, just keep things busy for Wii Fit so they don't feel comfortable. Yeah, but it seems like right now, um, yeah, John Wick, okay, John Wick is doing a good job, actually, dealing with Leaf Shield, because Leaf Shield as a move isn't really, like, that good. You can hit, you can't hit Mega Man out of it. Um, and with that being said, fully, fully roided out Weave hit, getting that back there and killing Mega Man midstage with the back there, and, um, pretty sad to believe right now. Yeah, you know, um, just showing that, you know, even though, you know, like, oh, very nice on combo string over there from uh, John, but honestly just showing, you know, all of the power that John has by just taking this first lead and already getting some really nice extra credit on this um, second stock right now. Yeah, it's a yeah, like right now. It's looking like he's trying to get in, but honestly at this point, you know, if all, you know, Pete Bro needs is probably just a really good, you know, situation to take the stock, and that back air looks like it's gonna do it. Yeah, and at 87%, that's not too bad. That's definitely a depth that you can make up pretty pretty quickly, especially with a character like Megan in this matchup. And Pete Bro has shown, shown enough in this matchup to say that he could put on percent pretty quick. So, um, let's see what happens here in this edge guard situation. I really like the use of that soccer ball because that's probably one of the... Wow. Ooh. That just... Back hit of force. They flew. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll take that low percent like that's actually negative one hit. So that's why he just got punished by John Wick. Yeah, he's gotten a punished for a few times for that. But I, I you did say that uh, that move has invincibility, so it makes sense why that would, you know, be out a lot of what Mega Man wants to do when he's pressured by shield or pressured in shield. Yeah, and right now, man, um, yeah, John Wick is looking prime to take this, and, um, yeah, Pete Bro is just searching right now, and you can see John Wick moving around, um, making Pete Bro chase, chase them, and, um, this is looking, it's looking like a struggle for Pete Bro to catch him, but we got a back throw right now, off stage. Now, this is an important situation, let's see if Pete Bro gets this edge guard, and, uh, no, nah, I hit myself with the sun. Ooh. Not gonna kill just yet. I'm definitely looking to see if there, um, there's some, I feel like, oh, very nice back here coming in there from John Wick. But yeah, uh, I feel like a little bit of the issue that, you know, that, um, Pete Bro had was mostly just his ledge trapping because, you know, when it comes to Wii Fit, they, you know, they do love being at ledge. So anything helps with trying to kill this character as much as possible. So yeah yeah and also pete bro was playing really fast you saw um and there there was a, there were a lot of situations where they were you know scrapping a lot you know scrambling scrambling in neutral and in those type of situations especially as you know against we fit we fit with the character is a character that's deep breathing has a lot of strong hitboxes um a lot of hitboxes that can flat out just take your stop, you know, mid stage at late, you know, late percents. So when you play that game with Wii Fit, it could definitely not go in your favor. And um, just putting yourself in a lot of scramble situations, it seemed like it was a lot of trouble for Pete Bro down the stretch. I think I did actually like a lot about um, Pete Bro is his use of all of his tools. So there was a lot of times where I saw that um, he actually, or they actually, you know, um, sent the uh, Metal Blade in a specific angle that he would be able to catch as soon as he landed, which, you know, you can do in a lot of different ways, but just being able to, you know, just do it in a lot of different ways to just kind of, you know, mix up and whatnot.